Hi everyone, Jan Furston here from Furston House. I have a completely new project that I wanted to share with you. Um, it's a sewing journal, and I've never done one of these, um, and I had so much fun. I purchased the sewing book on eBay, and basically took all of the the blah blah black and white print. I, you know, it was just kind of boring. I'm going to make pockets with those, but I kept all the tabs. And this was um, done in 1972. And the graphics in here are fabulous, and I just wanted to put it all together, and I have had an absolute wonderful time putting it here. Um, so here it is, and we can see the side. And I made my very first tassel. That took some doing. <laughs> but I did it, so I'm a, I'm a happy camper. And then there's the back. I didn't want to put anything on top of the on top of these graphics on the outside. They were just too pretty, and I thought, nope, I'm just not going to do it. So, oh, and the tassel is completely removable. This is for sale in my Etsy shop. I'll put the link down below. Uh, to do the tassel, I um, looked at a, a tutorial by Tracy Fox, and I'll put her link down there to um, to show you how to do that. It was very easy, and I was I was very happy with easy. Um, the dimensions, there uh, one tassel, we've got about five charms on the sides. The dimensions are two and a quarter inches for the spine, and it's eight by ten. There are 16 tabs in here, and you'll see what I mean when I talk about all the graphics on those. And there are a total of 128 pages that I've put in uh, for uh, journaling space. So let's get started. I'm telling you, it was, you can just look at it until I had fun doing it. Make sure I'm in... Make sure I'm in focus there. Get that thing out of the way. Okay, I think that's it. All right, so this is just a fabric flip. And like I said, I've tried to keep as many of the original graphics as possible. And this fabric just comes down here. I just purchased that recently at Joann's. I love it. It makes great cards, too, and, and journal tags. And this is what I mean by all of the, uh, the index tabs and what have you. There are 16 of these, and these all are original to the book. And those are the ones primarily I decorated. And then on the beginning of each section that has about four pages, let's see, one, four pages, so it's eight pages front and back. On the first page, I have embroidery that uh, belonged to my uh, great aunt and my um, grandmother. And I have tons of it, and they are so thrilled that I'm finally using it instead of leaving it stuck in a drawer. But the actual um, pages I've left basically blank for you. One or two might have something, but I wanted lots of journal space and still uh, honor the uh, the beauty of the book itself. So that's just a little flip there. And, I mean, isn't she cute? And here is an actual skein of embroidery floss that I've just... Uh, it's, that's the neat thing about junk journals. You can use stuff that you have worked on and created and, and uh, done crafts with for years and years and years and all of this I've used. I, I used to do embroidery and all kinds of stuff. And this also has a lot of items that I've just been collecting over the years uh, in the hopes that one day I'd make a sewing journal. I finally did. So there's the, um, the back side of that and then I put in these vintage buttons. Just popped them in there and it's just so neat. And again that's the first piece of embroidery has a bit of a charm. Let's see, that's a skein of wool with two little knitting needles on it. And again, the uh, embroidery was done in about 1960. Um, yeah, about 1960s. Maybe into the early 70s, but I'm thinking primarily 60s. And my um, my grandmother and my great aunt, they, they did a lot of this. They put them on the edges of all these pillowcases, and the pillowcases were kind of ratty looking and stuff. But I just loved all of this beautiful crocheted um, lace. And so I'm finally, as I said, I'm putting it to good use. And they're going to be thrilled with that. This is one of the few instances where I've actually decorated a page that I put in. All the pages that I put in are the same size as the pages that I took out uh, that I'll eventually make pockets with. Um, and this one, you know how you always get those little cards that say extra buttons? Well, now I've found a use for them. And inside is an actual pair of scissors. It's just an old, old pair that was found, oh heavens, I've had some of this stuff for ages, and I've just, there was a ribbon that looks like um, measuring tape, so I just stuck that on there, and and there you have it. So I'm not going to go through each individual page unless it has a decoration on it. Like I said, there's four sheets, eight pages front and back that you can journal on. 
here's the next tab obviously I've just glued some buttons here and put on a, a bit of um, uh, a snap a little card holding some snaps 79 cents you know those were not uh, that uh, cheap these days <laughs> there's the reverse travel light talking about a weekend wardrobe and you can see we're talking about the psychedelic 70s and this was uh, printed actually in 1972 and so here's another of the bits of lace the crocheted lace and I'm just going to move the pages that I've done here more crocheted lace and I've just this you know I had these buttons I, I a lot of people give me things and I think well I, I might use it I might use it and I I have to, I'm very neat about putting things away but I've had these things for years and finally here we have the perfect color combination to use on this tab and the reverse I've just put in its wonder tape completely disappears in first washing yeah I have no idea if that's true or not I wouldn't trust it because simply I don't know how to use it and I'd probably mess it up so more of this beautiful lace move these papers out of the way again more colors that I've never thought I would use graphics are just fabulous and this <laughs> this was uh, it, you know those little packets of sewing things that a little tiny pair of scissors that probably wouldn't cut anything except that thin thread that's in there and there's a needle threader and some actual needles so I just glued them down you can still get in them and if you're desperate enough to need something to sew with there you go you can get in there and then there's the fabric conversion chart it's got a lot of inf interesting information on it but it was just so much fun and the fact that it was a three ring binder it's nice to take things in put things out um, it's easy another skein of the um, floss that I've used and then here I've just cut um, an old measuring tape and just glued it down here and then the reverse I've got some vintage buttons that I've put here and this is what I was talking about with that fabric that it's great to use cards just a little journal card there's a thread it's just perfect fits right down in there and I don't know about you guys but Christopher Banks Christopher Ann Banks and doesn't want to go in no because we're on camera everything's normal um, I've got tons of these little things called Christopher and Banks extra button I've never shopped at a place called Christopher and Banks but for some reason I have those so who knows more of the um, beautiful embroidery can you imagine putting these on pillowcases and, and doing all that work that's that's what they used to do that's just a little charm that says yarn on it so, I never could of all the needle arts and what have you that I learned to do I could never crochet and I could never knit hopeless case this I've just put that in there that's some that I've had that I I just got tired of using it and so if you'd like to use it go for it here we have I've added some buttons and stuff and a little bit of crochet there another little packet of extra buttons and this is a card isn't that beautiful I love these dresses just a little journal card interfacing fashion fabric choosing the right interfacing more of the floss there or not floss um, embroidery Let me move these pages okay here we have some more with just another skein of the um, embroidery floss that I used and this is just a little flower that I put there right on the dress that she's working on oh now this is the neatest thing it was hard for me to get put this in this book but it was like oh yeah, you really need to I think I found it on eBay I believe and I've never seen one like it and at first I thought someone had actually cut this out and you know from an actual box or, or two or whatever or from a magazine or something and it wasn't it was actually printed in West Germany um, I think back in the 70s you open it up and it is a needle case now is that not the coolest thing I just I fell in love with it when I got it and I thought one of these days I'm going to use it and today's the day these are actual needles I've got them glued down a little bit so that they're um, steady they're not going to fly out but uh, now these I don't have glued down but I don't think they're going anywhere anyway a little needle threader there but um, I've just glued the back of it down so this is definitely not for uh, children of, of, uh, of a young age 
but there it is, Lipton. I thought, well, fantastic. Journals and tea. Can't get much better than that. More of the lace. And here we have, this is, of, of all the ones that I had, this is the one that had a, a tear in it. So I've just put some uh, piece of embroidery over it and over the back just to solidify it, make sure that it was not going to tear. Different kinds of sleeves there. Sewing machine needles, what we all need. 70 cents for four. I think now they're like a dollar or two a piece. So it's interesting not only to look at the fashions, but some of the prices and things. Some more of the lace, or embroidery, embroidered lace. I'll get it out in a minute. That, is that one? Yeah. Let's get here. And I've just added some buttons here, and a little bit of um, applique and a ribbon. On the reverse, we have another one of these little tags. And I've just added two little buttons here. And then this, I've just, this was for seam binding. 25 cents for three yards. Yep, it's gone up a little bit. Okay, and there's some more of that embroidered lace. Here we have, there's the sun. I just, I love it. I fell in love with the, the graphics and I was like, okay, that's it. This is an old packet of Rick Rack, 15 cents for six yards. Um, it's just really neat. Some more of the, oh, and what I've done, um, I learned this trick from Carol Tinson um, about um, reinforcing the edges. Normally, what I used to do, I would just sew the fabric straight to the, um, to the actual sheet, but you don't need to do that. It actually weakens the sheet. You take a separate piece, sew it on there, and then you glue that piece here onto your page so that it makes it nice and strong, especially when you're going to be lifting it. So that was that was a great idea, and uh, Carol Tenson taught me that. And Also, she did, um, when she decorates her edges, like if she does the cut work along the thing, she decorates a separate piece and then glues it on. It's just, I don't know why I never thought about it, but I didn't. And I saw her and I saw her video and I was like, well, of course, why on earth did I do it any other way? I'll put her link below. Neat buttons. And I usually don't go with these colors, but they're just so much fun. It was like, okay. And amazingly enough, I had a, a bunch of these wild colors just sitting around. Different embroidery stitches. Another little charm there. There's a little measuring tape. And then the yellow embroidery. And then we have Sew for Him. And there is Him. Little buttons that I've added. And this little tab here are from Fabric Samples. My uh, mother-in-law, uh, for many, many years, about 40 years, owned a, um, a fabulous antique shop. And she sold, um, or she would get samples of uh, designer fabrics from London and Paris. Uh, her shop was in uh, Bath in England. And she would get these samples, and she gave them to me, or a lot of them she gave them to me, which I've made into tea cozies, which are also on my Etsy shop. But then they had these little tags, and I thought, I'm not throwing those away. That's going to go for a journal sometime, so there they are. You can see it's, this one is from London, and they're just designer fabrics that were on there, and it was just neat. Here we have more snaps, made in England. Some more of the beautiful lace embroidery. I keep calling it lace, but anyway. <laughs> Five cents for the little buttons. I thought that was kind of cool. And for some odd reason, they have it in the cosmetic department. Don't ask me why. I don't know where it came from. Um, I got it at a, an estate sale in a, in a batch, in a, like a bag of just stuff. Sweet little girl. I've added these little ribbon flowers. Some lace here, and this is some more of the um, embroidery that my my uh, aunt and my grandmother did, along with this. Let's pick up the pages, and here we have just a bit of lace on the edge here. Oh, this is neat. This is actually, it was a greeting card, and I bought it years and years ago, and for some odd reason, I held on to it, as I have want to do. And I just took off the backing, and you would open it up, and it said, Happy Birthday, or whatever. So I just took the front part off, glued it down here, 
I've never done a zipper and I doubt if I ever will but I thought well that's really neat and these these are some more of these tabs that were holding um, the designer fabrics this one was a particular uh, design that was authorized adaptation from a woodblock print on cotton uh, from Switzerland circa 1860 so I thought, and <laughs> journal space and this is another one Olinska damask cotton and silk I think that's pronounced I'm not sure Schumacher um, Schumacher I'm not really sure I should have looked it up but I didn't apparently she made a note or someone made a note cream damask was in here so I just thought those are neat little things to to write on and then I found this sheet in all of my uh, papers that I have but it had the two dresses here and the two ladies so I thought okay we have to include that so we're talking journal space additional journal space as I said there are 128 of the uh, of these pages in here that's front and back and uh, so there's lots of journal space in this one and if you can fit it in you can still add some more here we have another one. This one is, please do not deface the sample ticket. Use this for any necessary marking. Okay, and that's a little lamb, I'm assuming for wool, for knitting. More of these um, snaps. The embroidery there. Put a little ladybug here. And uh, I used to love those chairs. I forget now what they call them. But I, I just thought they were always neat. And they were made out of wicker. This I've just cut a piece uh, from the, the measuring tape that I had. An old measuring tape. This, as I said, this is definitely not for children. This is a an actual razor blade in, is in here. I've glued it down. Should not ever come loose. Um, but... They would use uh, seamstresses, and, and anyone who did a lot of sewing would use razors. They don't. They didn't have all the little tools that we have now. And um, I inherited some uh, sewing, a lot of sewing bits and pieces from my son-in-law's mother. And this was in there, and I thought, wow, that is so cool. And then another one of these Christopher Banks things, and a card, a little journal tag. And I've just put a little Scotty dog there. And uh, this is a charm. What does it say? Made with love. There you go. And that's the paper. And this, I just thought it was neat. I reinforced the uh, things, as you can see. It was a coupon that was actually in the book. And it's in for your free pattern. Remember, I don't, um, I'm giving my age away, but caftans. I remember my mother and my two aunts wearing these caftans that... Uh, my mother, let's see, my aunts, especially my older aunt, she's the one who does a lot of the sewing. Fabulous seamstress, um, self-taught. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it was her. One Christmas she made the three sisters um, caftans that were all coordinating. Wild colors, but again, this was back in the 70s. So I thought that was neat. And this is an old, I've, I've kept, basically I've kept it empty. I've reinforced it here, and then I've added... Um, reinforcement along here. It's the actual, the original packet for the McCall's pattern. And you can put whatever you'd like in there. And here is an actual zipper still in this thing, just glued down there. Shapes of fashion. So there it is. I, again, I've had just a lot of fun. I, I hope you enjoy whoever would like to have it. Um, as, it, as I said, it is for sale in my Etsy shop, and I'll put that link below. And all of the ladies that I've mentioned who have inspired me and helped me with hints and what have you. But um, hope you have a great day. Here she is. It's just so much fun. First tassel, I was, I was amazed it came together as easy as it did. There we go. Okay, so if you have any questions or anything, please let me know. I'd appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe to my channel. That way you can see if I have anything coming up that you might be interested in. I hope you have a lovely weekend. It's beautiful here in Madison, Alabama. It's actually the sun is shining, even though it is the first part of March. So we're doing good. You all take care and have a blessed weekend. Bye-bye.